it's 7 a.m. We found out yesterday afternoon it's ours. So we came and spent the night here. I think the rain's coming again, but for now, the morning's lovely. So they found out that the farmer who were buying this field off, buying this place off, owns all these lands down to that lake down there, which apparently has got some huge fish in it. And he said we can go down and fish there, so you and can fish down there, which she's absolutely thrilled about. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there's some mountains just in the background over there. I just wanted to come out when there's nobody around, everyone's in bed, just me. Just enjoy it. Knowing that it's ours. It's a very strange feeling. Never thought in my entire life that I'd ever be able to own land and I mean it's only a small plot but it's only one just over an acre. But it's enough for us. Yeah, I love it here. It's peaceful. The views, you can't really tell on the camera because they never do the same justice as a naked eyeball, do they? But the views just so go so far. Yesterday, when the sun was out, yesterday evening, you could see for miles. So we don't even know what we're going to do with that building yet. No clue. It would make perfect like another house really but anyway um and then we've got a whole field down this side there's like a bunch of trees down the middle of dividing the the back field so you've got all of that side right round there to the side of the house and then all the way down to the bottom of the fence behind this house down there a lot. Feels like a lot for me that coming from a garden that was like <laughs> oh so pokey. It was unbelievable. I can't even tell you. But yeah, right down down there. And then coming down the garden now on the back of the other well, sort of building, which is probably just a an animal barn. The lean to was put on it. Yeah. And then the house, which is here. If this would have been the front door, I think the plan will be that will then become the back door. So it opens the front of the garden. Probably going to put bathroom and staircase in this end bit with an office seat, like a utility room main kitchen sort of area where we eat, drink, socialise and the end bit it's got a fireplace in there as well that would be the living room that's a kind of rough plan and in the top the stairs to go up would make two kids bedrooms here and here and then perhaps drop down ladders in the, in the lounge to make another bedroom up there for a guest now so that's a rough idea Sam wants to reclad this because it'll be his workshop for doing all his work to make this livable for us bless him he's got his work cut out but 
think it excites him. And this annex section, which isn't actually technically joined, someone's put some bricks here. Kind of joining it, but not knocked through. So this would be potentially Sam and I's bedroom and an ensuite in there probably. And then there's a doorway here and a doorway there. And then I woke up to these views in the morning. And then this would be our new front door. So we've been watching so many things on renovating cottages. So obviously we're going to have to dig up the floor, stop it from getting damp. Here is where we think we might knock through the door into the annex. And here is where we'll put a bathroom, stairs up to the top, and utility room. And obviously walking back through this door, because it goes both sides, is the main kitchen area. That's how it is at the minute. Very big, thick, wide doors. And and then into the other room. Look at the thickness of these. I mean, that's the chimney, but it's just open. It just goes fully up. Now, I don't think you can see it, but I want to put kind of a range or something in there. And then this is what would be the living room and maybe the top bedroom. The one with the drop down ladders. We've got a window that side. There's the fireplace. And then another window this side. I mean, how gorgeous are these shutters? Absolutely love this. My auntie had a really lovely house in Marple right by the lock that I absolutely loved, although it scared me slightly as a kid. And I always remember thinking those shutters were just amazing. I love history. It's fascinating. But yeah, that. I've said it again, but yeah, apparently I say, but yeah, all the time. I'm trying not to do it. It's very hard. So that would be, that's like a, a porch add-on. So we would put some kind of porch on, because I think it's important to have somewhere to store muddy roots and things when you come in from the garden. But a better door on, I think, for the back door. It's like a wet cupboard at the side. lots and lots and lots of work to do i mean when you come in here you can see the old thatch so this was a thatched cottage i don't know if you can see it in this light up there but that's the thatched roof the original with still some thatch on it and the old carpentry which sham is in awe of and then they put the tin roof over the top of it see all those old logs tree logs i mean they're not even they're just as they were, <laughs> straight out of the woods that they got them from. And then, yeah, and then the, the old thatch, the old thatched roof. It's just there in the background. I don't think the camera might, it's a bit dark in here. But yeah, it's fascinating that they just thought, oh, we'll just put a new roof over the top of it. it didn't even take that away or repair it or anything. And we've got, I presume, a swallow's nests here. And sadly, we found two dead ones in here. So I don't know what's happened. But yeah, we, uh, we've got to think about where we're going to put, put the nests when they try and come back again in the spring. Because this is now, I think we're on the 22nd or 23rd of July. But yeah, that's the view out of my window in the kitchen. And then what will be the bathroom window, which I also absolutely love. Got probably one of the best views in the house. Again, I don't think the camera can pick it up, but it goes all the way down. So, yeah. 
that's it now on the day we bought it it's crazy so the guy who owns it came up yesterday with his, some, with his niece and his niece's husband and we had a right good chat and they were so great they're a lovely family he owns so much land here but yeah he's happy that a family are buying this so here's inside that another great big window at the back there so hopefully our bedroom will have tons of light but yeah we've got to knock through into there and also i guess sort out the beams and things i think it was probably just storage or animal shelter originally but yeah I've done it again but yeah <laughs> it's just a stunning stunning place and I can't believe that we've got this. It just shows when we left our house in Stockport, which was worth a lot of money, you know, as houses are in towns these days in the UK. And we'd worked our asses off and it was just felt exhausting. And I never thought that there'd become a day when I can live in the countryside. You just can't get countryside really in England now, unless you've got a lot of money in or got a really good job or want to work full time and with you and being at home I didn't want to work full time so I never envisioned this would be something we could buy yes it's derelict and yes it's going to take a lot of work but yeah that's anything worth having you know you've got to work for so oh, feels like the start of a, a big day today we need to arrange a static caravan to get delivered so that we've got somewhere to come back to because we'll have to sell the motorhome sadly as much as I'd love to keep it. Just can't possibly. It's just too 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 much. And then yeah, we'll come back from England. We might bring a caravan back with us, we might buy a cheap van and do a glam conversion because travel is still important to us. We still want to travel. We've got the bug. But the kids don't want to travel full, full time. They don't want to live in a van. And it is hard living in a small space like that. They need the privacy. They need to settle. They need friends. Again, and it's been an amazing adventure. But full time, living full time with children is a lot. And it's a lot for them. And I think that's what they they were feeling like overwhelmed with it all and we've seen so much and there's so much so much left to see still obviously but yeah i think we all just felt travel weary from having to share a small space with each other and you know it's your feet like you honestly it's hard because you never feel like you belong anywhere so this is lovely to have this as a base and hopefully our future travels will continue but in a different vehicle and for less time frames, you know. There it is, the Adria Matrix that we love so much, but they're expensive vans and they're, they're phenomenal vans. I get why they're worth so much, but God, <sighs> this cow's cost less than it cost us to buy that Adria. I mean, how mad is that? It's bonkers, isn't it? That it was significantly cheaper as well like yeah so anyways I'm probably starting to feel tired now I think I've just uh, so many emotions all the time but I'm also excited for this in the future it's really cute it might be a granny flat or something bit of a posh granny fly isn't it but when it's done but yeah it might be that it might be somewhere we can have people come and stay who knows but yeah this is us kids were trying to hack away this huge mound of nettles and i don't know what's underneath it i think it's a manure pile but no one's sure bless him spent all day yesterday trying to cut it back <laughs> there's a there's our um Cheers, it's wedged in, ready for the next round. Keeps them busy. Yes, yeah, so I think that gives you a rough idea of the place.
stay in this moment Gonna lay here on the grass I don't need to feel lonely I am finally home at last And I don't mind being gone on adventures for a Could wear a blindfold